going on? It's Mr. Investor Lot. I'm trying to change my life through investing in the stock market. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research. ARK Invest buys 100,000 more workhorse shares. So today we're going to be discussing ARK Invest aggressively buying more workhorse shares. The industry has seen a sea of red. It's a bloodbath out here. In the last month or so, we've seen shit drop like a pigeon. In particular, workhorses dropped from the $30 range all the way to the lows of the $15 range. Workhorse dropped 39% alone in just October. So as we speak, Workhorse is 12% up today. One of the key things that we're actually waiting for is Workhorse's submission to the FAA. So Workhorse submitted to the Federal Aviation Administration to try and get it approved that we are now allowed to use, you know, the Horsefly. The Horsefly is the unmanned aerial system, the UAS, and this is so key. It feels like we hit the bottom with Workhorse just yesterday or a few days ago. Arc investors piled on the money they bought almost 100,000 shares. They bought 96,300 shares of Workhorse stock. For me, this is one of the big indicators where, you know, ARK Invest was slowly buying in, buying in, and they were waiting for a big drop to load up the boat. And yesterday, they loaded up the boat. Holy, whoa! <laughs> Load up on me, baby. So I think the next big news we're waiting for is this drone. If this drone can get FAA approved, literally, we're gonna see Workhorse skyrocket. It's the next step in last mile delivery. So obviously Amazon Prime has Amazon Prime Air. And we have the Horsefly. Just imagine that, Workhorse saves you money as a company. Bro, imagine the discount on all the delivery, it's gonna be a madness. If you were running a fleet of vehicles and you wanted to operate and be cost efficient and cost effective, of course you're gonna buy a Workhorse vehicle. For me, drones are the last piece of the puzzle to last mile delivery. When we look at last mile delivery, we're looking at e-commerce and how much it's booming nowadays. We have to deliver parcels every single day, hundreds of thousands of parcels, millions of packages. E-commerce is a booming and growing industry. So as soon as this gets approved, other companies are just literally gonna jump in, I think. I think they're gonna jump in, they're gonna buy, and they're gonna sit down on workhorse vehicles because workhorse can make them a lot of money. If you're saving money, you're making money. So if you're able to cut the cost and become efficient with your last mile delivery in terms of fuel expenses, the latest innovations, you're going to be saving yourself a lot of money and you're going to help your company to grow. Say for example, Walmart. Obviously, we've been looking at the Hitachi collaboration and Walmart, for example, might have to deliver, you know, more of this kind of cold, fresh foods to keep up with Amazon because Amazon's got Amazon grocery now. So if Walmart really wants to compete with Amazon and try and get a chunk of that, you know, online delivery, grocery delivery sector, they're gonna have to, you know, invest in some workhorse vehicles. The same goes with all the other companies within that retail industry. They're trying to cut costs, they're trying to be efficient as possible. So everybody who's doing deliveries, grocery deliveries, online retail deliveries, they're gonna make sure they have a fleet that is tip top efficient and they can save loads of money to make more profit. So for me, I think as soon as this gets approved, we're gonna be making shit loads of money for Workhorse. This is only my opinion. Make sure you don't just follow my opinion, but personally, I think that we're gonna be making loads of money from Workhorse. The short term, we're heavily reliant on this USPS contract. If we get this FAA approval and we're able to strike other deals, we're gonna be floating in it. Next step for us would be to cut down the cost of production, you know? So when we produce these vehicles, it's quite expensive at the moment. We haven't turned over a profit and we're finding it quite difficult. Um, we do have the factories there set up so we can use the Lordstown Motors factory We can use that Ohio factory that we have the GM one in order to mass produce these vehicles if we get contract But yeah short term that USPS contract is worth six billion baby And in terms of looking at the general scope of where the world is going There's a really big and heavy push towards you know being environmentally friendly cutting emissions So there's heavy heavy funding coming into the EV sector with uh, loads of countries also piling in. We have Arrival here in the UK with their electric last mile delivery vehicle. We also have um, loads of EV vehicles such as Tesla, we have Neo cropping up. And Uber is obviously after a kind of automated system for their vehicles so they can probably cut out the driver and have driverless taxis. So there's a big push towards these EV vehicles, autonomy, innovation. So today, if we're looking at the stock market today, we can see there's a big charge led by Tesla. We're looking at Neo's booming, ChargePoint, Blink, Plug Power, Lordstown Motors. You know, all of them are booming alongside Workhorse. So I wanted to ask you guys, who is your money on in the EV sector? Who have you invested in? And who do you think is gonna have longevity in this sector and make a lot of money? Personally, I'm invested in Hillion, I'm invested in Workhorse and ChargePoint. 
and Tesla at the moment. So I'd love to gather your thoughts surrounding this. We're literally waiting on that FAA approval for the next boost up. And then hopefully we're gonna get this, you know, workhorse contract. I'm hoping, I don't know in it, I don't know, but I'm hoping that we get like 50% of the contract in order to really get a juicy piece of the cake. That's Mr. Invest a lot. Thank you so much. If you want more stock updates, make sure you click that subscribe button, throw up some juicy likes, and make sure you tune in next time. Mr. Invest a lot, over and out.